Hello and Happy New Year! I know I just published the last rock hunt of 2019, but there is the sun is shining and there is no snow on the ground to speak of, and so I decided I would take this opportunity to come down to the river and do another hunt before 2019 actually comes to an end. So you probably will be seeing this on New Year's Day. It'll be 2020, which is super exciting. Um, 2020 is kind of cool because it's like, you know, vision and all that stuff. So hopefully it'll be a great year. Um, anyway, so come with me. Let's see what we can find. We're down on the river bank. The ice is up a little bit, but not too bad. Um, and it's pretty. Check it out. The sun is shining. And it's cold outside. Staggate of the day. So I was just walking along the bank and this little guy just jumped out at me. It's a piece of jasper. Again, it's frozen into the side, but I think I will, uh, it's probably at a point where I can dig it out. So. I'll get back to you after that hopefully works. Okay. Using my mighty boots, I have cracked it open. It's like a more hybridized jazz baggot. The top section is more agate more Jasper-esque and milky towards the bottom. This one looks really interesting. It has some quartzy kind of stuff, but it's all broken apart and then cemented back together with this red stuff. Let's see if we can find a hole in the ice where we can wash this off. Make a hole in the ice. That's what I meant. Okay. Oh, not there. I'll get back to you on that. Wow, that ice is a lot, a lot heavier than I thought it was. There, now you can see it just fine. Isn't that cool? It's a... I guess because the, the pieces have sort of angles, it's brecciated as opposed to conglomerate. Uh, if it is rounded and cemented together, it's conglomerate. And if it has angles, brecciated. But I know from experience these are cool to cut, so we'll take it home. Sun gets low fairly early these days. The calendar says the days are getting longer, but it can't happen fast enough for me. This little guy looks kind of interesting. I like the bumpiness of it. This one's a little too milky to keep. But this happens a lot when you stop to look at something, then you see something else. This is my petrified wood for the day, I guess. But look at how awesome this looks. Look at that curvy grain. Yeah. Just beautiful shape. Petrified wood is going to be my next rock talk, so if you're interested in learning how this is formed, keep an eye out for it. Uh, I love petrified wood, as you probably know, so we're going to talk a little bit about how it is formed and where it is found. 
just learn a little bit more about it. I have to admit, walking with the wind is a little less chilly. The wind at my back is a little less chilly than coming back this direction. But perhaps the fact that the sun is shining in front of me on the rocks will make up for the fact that I'm freezing my butt off. Um, I hope you're all enjoying yourself. Actually, you know, despite the cold, despite the, the wind, I would much rather be out here than inside any day of the week. This is probably what you might call a pseudo fossil. Uh, it's actually, I think, layers of harder stuff like chalcedony type stuff in between softer layers of maybe more limestone. Uh, although those two don't actually fit together in terms of geologic space, so I'm not exactly sure how it was made. I just have a feeling that that's kind of the general the general deal is that there's harder stuff and softer stuff together. It's fun to look at the, the bank here with the sun shining on it because all the pretties just stick, stick out like somebody's shining a light on them, which I guess they are. I was just thinking to myself that I hadn't found much in the way of jasper along this, this stretch and I came upon this beautiful, beautiful piece. I like it a lot. slushy ice passing by the ice that has already stuck to the banks. So cool. And then here's some more of that ice that's frozen on the edges that I think is so beautiful. You know, you can find beauty almost anywhere. You just have to be willing to look. So I lost the brand new glove that my mom gave me for Christmas yesterday. So I came back to Forsyth today in order to see if I could find it. And by gosh, the dog picked it up and went running off with it. So now I have my glove back. But because, because, the, uh, because the ice is here, I decided that I would try to see what other kinds of gravel bars there are in this area and go past a place that I haven't before. So now I'm looking at a brand new place. And here it is. Looks pretty cool. I didn't know this was here until today. There's a, an actual inlet here that is attached to the river that has gravel. As I say, I've never been this far and it's a little harder to get to. So that's really good to know for next year. The ice has actually created a situation where I can explore things that I wouldn't have been able to explore before because this would be right down, right down in the water. And uh, so as long as I don't slip on the ice, I can kind of creep along and find some little agate pockets that are rock pockets. See, that's wishful thinking that I might not have seen otherwise. So that's kind of fun. I often think that I should have somebody following me around and filming 
all of the ridiculous positions I get myself into. I just had to crawl pretty much on all fours to uh, get underneath that bunch of branches and then I ran into a branch and I couldn't figure out what was going on because I couldn't see. It was silly. birds in this place. from looking at some small rocks, I saw this at my feet. I don't know if it's actually an agate or if it's a milk agate. I guess I'll find some water and wash it off. I was all clever and found a place to cross the ice. that that really is the very final rock hunt of 2019. The new year is always an opportunity to, to pause and reflect and think about the year that has come before, not just rock hunting, but in, in other things as well. The world is pretty topsy-turvy right now. It's hard to keep hopeful, it's hard to keep positive, but one thing that is always the same, that is always good and right, is when you go rock hunting by the river. I hope that your life is filled with lots and lots of opportunities to find the beauty, to find those special rocks, those special times, and I hope you have a happy and healthy 2020. 
This is Kate from Katie Did. Keep on doing.